Hi guys, my name is Isabella Green. Last week I released a video that is called Just Knowing, where I talked about tapping into the river of information and being able to get downloads with all kinds of information directly from the cosmic Google, meaning you have access to the quantum field of information. And as I release this vi that video, it came a little more <laughs> of the same stuff as examples that literally blew my mind. So I want to share that with you. First of all, I've observed that these downloads from the field of information could be completely random or they seem completely random. But here's an example of a random one. So I'm sitting in a meditation in the middle of the night and all of a sudden I get a very clear download uh, that says, well, there's no voice there to say, it's just a no and you all of a sudden know all of a sudden I know that angels are genetically modified humans and the whole story follows. And I'm sitting in the meditation and go, why? I don't work with angels. I work with Archangel Michael once in a while and uh, but I genuinely don't work with angels and I don't interact with angels so much. I don't uh, tap into angelic realm. <laughs> All of a sudden in my meditation I get this download of the information. Angels are genetically modified humans. Um, some time ago when Barbara Marciniak in her uh, Pleiadian channel and said the angels are uh, the police force of the Anunnaki, right? That kind of sounded a little harsh there, uh, considering we believe that angels are, the, are this benevolent force that gives us support and this and that. Well, we also know that angels are at the gates of reincarnation cycle and the angels give you uh, no other choice except to go back to earth and all of that and there are a lot of stuff about angels here but all of a sudden I get the uh, download that angels are genetically modified humans and then I get all of the information on that so the information on that was as follows that angels are human beings that received an additional chromosome or additional part of the DNA from the Anunnaki, by the way, uh, so that they would have the abilities to appear, disappear, the healing abilities, the vision abilities, the abilities that the gods or the extraterrestrials generally have. They would also have wings so they can move but they're not entirely extraterrestrial. They're in that realm, and well, no angelic realm, right? They're in that realm where they can interact with both, and so they serve as the messengers from God, which we know in every religious teaching, the angels are the messengers from God, but is that really the messengers from God? That's the big question here. Um, so they were created artificially, by the Anunnaki from the human uh, genetics mixed with the Anunnaki genetics so that we would have an intermediate, like a messenger in between and okay so uh, I come back from the meditation going seriously what was that all about and why did that come in? It said angels are genetically modified humans for the purpose of interacting with the Anunnaki gods or the bees that were considered the gods uh, back in the day. Alright, and so randomly that same evening I'm on Gaia TV and I'm just going through oh and here's like ancient civilization series and I just click on whatever randomly, right? And it happens to be uh, a, a documentary that's called creatures, hybrid creatures of the ancient world and what do you think they say? In that documentary 
the same evening after I just downloaded that information. I'm watching a documentary where the um, speaker is presenting a, a, a theory that all of the hybrid beings existed and that they were created by adding a chromosome, <laughs> a chromosome to existing species to expand their abilities and also mix different species such as give a human the wings so they can move around. So that whole thing, I was bouncing over the walls here thinking, I can't believe I just downloaded that out of nowhere. And here I'm watching this documentary where the person is uh, suggesting the same kind of thing. Uh, first one, random downloads. Number two, downloads uh, as answers to your questions or questions of others. So for example, a friend of mine reaches out and says, well, there's this phrase in my head that I've had since uh, childhood. I remember looking in the mirror with, as a child and the child spoke back to me and I don't know what it is. It's not in English, it's not in any language that I know, but I remember it is like engraved in my mind. And so he speaks that phrase to me. Uh, before he spoke it, I thought that like my head here it thinks that, you know, it's uh, gonna be uh, probably a light language. It's probably channeling a light language. It's so common, right? Especially with kids. Um, but as he speaks it, I recognize that no, that's that's a human tongue. That's a human language. That's not a light language. You, you I know how what light language sounds feels like. All different types of light languages. They sound different. It's a human language, and so my mind takes me uh, and says it's an Aramaic language. <laughs> Hello, do I know what an Aramaic language sounds like? No, I have no. Yeah, but I'm in this like spaced out state of being when you're not thinking and not focusing so much. That's when the downloads come in. So it says, boom, it's an Aramaic language. <gasps> of course, now my mind gets online instantly and I, it wants to explain and what to analyze. So I start researching and find nothing. Okay, great. So the next night I, I want to focus on that and I'm focusing on that and I'm getting nothing. <laughs> That's always that way. But the night after I'm sitting in the meditation and I forgot about the whole thing and I'm just enjoying my space, you know, my space in the void and all of a sudden I get the download and it says Nabatean dialect of Aramaic language. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what? 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 And then I remember that, oh, that phrase. And then it gives me the whole translation of that phrase. And then it continues telling me about the soul journey of that person. Well, I wasn't asking about that. Uh, but I'm blown away. So first of all, I didn't, if I ever read about that, I did not remember. First of all, I didn't know what a Nabatean means, but I got exact spelling right into my head. So as soon as I got out of meditation, I wrote it down. It was like Nabatean, and then a uh, couple of names from different eras of that soul incarnation, and then the meaning of what that phrase meant. I wrote it all down. I'm all excited. I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna research all this. I'm gonna Google, but now I'm gonna go to the store. <laughs> So I get in the car, drive to the store, come back home, I realize I forgot the entire thing. You have to write down these things right as they come in. Good thing I did this time. But if you don't, the 3D, the driving, the stressing, the, uh, I don't know, looking at the road, talking to the people about, you know, their kids going to school or I got a flu, all of that wipes out the high dimensional information from your head like that. I could not be like, it came home, I was like, oh my god, I don't remember a single word, let alone the words that I didn't know, like Nabatean. I did not even know that word. Did I know that the Nabatean dialect of Aramaic language actually exists as a fact? I had no idea. Where did that come from? I just started Googling. Well, thank God. So I got my notes and I started Googling. And yes, that's the ancient civilization. That's the ancient language that has had uh, interacted with Aramaic and they created their own dialect and blah, blah, blah. The whole story unfolds. And 
uh, the meaning that got the translation of that makes perfect sense and I got all the names in there because I wrote them down and they match the language and they match the uh, the whole thing just matches so well as I start researching it so here is the uh, non-random download an example of non-random download or something but I tell you when you try and to get it it doesn't come because the mind is so much online there the analytical brain is like give me the answer I want to know and so when you're doing that it pushes away your access to that quantum soup of information and literally I'm blown away. How am I downloading words and concepts into my head? Words and concepts, translation of an ancient language <laughs> that I had no idea existed, right? Exceptional, fascinating. I uh, give me more. I'm so excited about this. Yeah, super excited about this. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in today. If you'd like to have a session with me, you can reach me at isabellagreen.com. Please keep in mind that I'm booked a few months out, but send me a session request form and I will get back to you in due time. I love you. Namaste.